Hi, I'm going to show you a first tutorial on how to make a background very, very similar to this. Um, it's very similar to the old background, the other background I did for the same brushes, just using a different color, a color thing. Um, and the way I use the colors, it's all one layer compared to three layers like I did before. And generally, you see this one on the neck compared to other ones. Um, so we'll get started right now by opening up Photoshop CS4 or whatever version you have. I just have CS4 the latest. Um, go to new, and we'll make the preset web. Um, and the size it depends on your monitor. This is easier monitor sizes. Um, the standard monitor size is one or two four by seven six eight. So generally, people will do backgrounds that size. Um, once that's open, press F in your keyboard or click up here um, to change the format, the viewing format. Once that's done, press Control minus to make it smaller. Control plus to make it bigger if you want. And pretty much the exact same as last time. We just want to go by and make this a proper layer so we can add some color to it um, we'll add the black to it and it will make one new layer not three this time and we'll go to the brushes we'll find the brushes we, we want I'm using the Raven 100k um, I'll include them in the, the video description for you once um, you have the brushes change the color to white and start painting away so change brush. Once you have your desired effect, um, go ahead and make a new layer. This is a color layer, so we'll go select a different brush this time. We're going to reset the brushes back to default so we can get the um, nice default brushes. So just go up to here, reset brushes. Um, click OK. Now we have our default brushes that normally come with Photoshop. Just click on the 300 one. It's a nice, large, um, last, it's a nice, large, soft brush. Once it's selected, we want to, um, pick some very vibrant colors for this. You can put it really, really high pinks and purples, um, blues, whatever your greens. Just put it on. And now we want to paint this whole, whole image with just color on top of it. Doesn't matter if you go over other stuff. Put some yellow in there as well. Okay, once it's done, um, we'll, we'll go back to this on the slide here. We'll go to the blending options. Um, We'll change this down to color, and as you can see, it's already forming already. What color does? It's pretty much taking the bottom layer, color, and taking out the rest of it. And because we're just using white, it takes it all black. Okay. Once that's done, um, you can live like this. People will define like this, or you could add more effects. The more effects you can do uh, to make the glow a lot more. And I reckon the glow looks better, so I'm going to do the glow. So we'll just go down on the brush on the brushes layer, not the color layer, the brushes layer that we did, we go to FX add a glow. As you can see it's, it's a nice glow already. To make it more, we're gonna just go to normal, change the to glow to white. Um and we'll bump up the size. You can leave the spread as it is, otherwise it looks it looks like that pretty much. So put down the spread back to normal. Bump up the size quite a lot. You can do it to forty, fifty around there. It looks it looks pretty it looks pretty good around there. Probably leave it about here. It's a nice, it's a nice setting there. Okay. Um, from here, like the last video, you can add a logo, add your name, whatever you want. Um, it gives you text. So I'm going to do uh, the company. SJ Computers. We'll just move this around. We'll put the um above the actual layer too. So the layer styles that don't affect this. 
if you put any on. Um, maybe change this to white or leave it as black. Um, and we can put some effects on there. So you could go ahead, put some gradient overlays on them, make it look nice. And I'll just find a nice decent one. So, we'll just go with this. And you put some uh, nice added glow around it. Put it to the normal. Oh, dissolve normal, sorry. Um, put it onto white and bump up the um, size quite a lot as well. It doesn't matter about the um, spread too much. If we can put it up a tiny bit to about 5, bump it up to 40, maybe even more. Just so we can see like, a clear add -a glow. A clear difference between the background and, and this. Once it's done, you can go ahead and copy this layer star, which is right here, and we can right click this other layer and paste it. So there you have your layers done. Okay, once we have this, um, we'll go and ahead and save it. Um, we'll go save as. Generate JPEG because JPEG is a better quality image for backgrounds and it's just a higher quality image. Um, name it whatever you want. So, the um, um, the quality settings we want to probably bump it up to the most it can go. Um, because background images are quite big and you, you can see the de detail very easy and if you have a low quality image you'll be able to see it. Um, if it's going over the net you might want to drop down a tiny bit because downloading large images is very slow if you have a slow internet as well but um, so yeah we'll just keep it at maximum for now. With that done we'll just go to the um, the folder that's saved in we'll find it open it up and there you go thank you for watching this video um, if you're after some, some more tutorials just request them there's an email in the description which, which you can request them at um, so yeah I'm happy to do some more so yeah thank you for watching